got what? Nah, put like 20, 20 yeah. minutes. What are we cooking in? Well, what's the box say? What's the box say? <laughs> Dude, he's got the Mike Wazowski glove. <laughs> I think the dynamic duo of Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey is one with the State Farm commercials. But then I also love all the ones that Eli and Peyton Manning do together. Those are always elite. The best halftime performer that you've seen. I love the one that they did in LA. The one with Eminem, 50 yeah, Cent, yeah. Dr. Dre. Yeah. Like that was like amazing. We only use 20 kilometers of range, so really like 2% of the battery. How long have we been doing this for? An hour? Over an hour, yeah. yeah. We had everything plugged in, preheating and everything. So I mean if you wanted to use this as an actual work truck, no problem. You'd be able to get to the job site, plug everything in, use it up. I was talking to a customer inside, and he was talking about how his, uh, his buddy uses this as a uh, like portable welder. So, how many people do we have that are in the area that go to hockey games, that go to baseball games, football games with their kids? Like, mm -hmm. a lot of them, you know, they'd be able to pull something out like this and easily do it, no problem. Hey, everybody. Tailgate Talk Part 5. Today, I am here with Duncan. And we are going to prep for some Super Bowl snacks. Super Bowl is just around the corner. Uh, we decided it'd be a great opportunity to showcase the lightning and what it can do. As everyone knows, tailgating down in the States at football games, but especially this week because it's Super Bowl week, that's the way to go. So if you want to take your tailgate level to the next and best level, we're going to show how you can do that in the F-150 Lightning. We have all these appliances working and rocking, and we're just going to cook up some food and just have a great time. <laughs> We've got some tater tots, and these are going to go in the pan. So we're just going to throw them in the pan. You hear that sizzling. We got that baby nice and hot. Bring it back up to, to medium there. I love that they got the two bachelors to do this as well. Like, our cooking skills are already on point, but now we're just taking it to the next level in the back of this F-150. You on nacho duty? I'm on nacho duty. All right. I think we, we need to get the wings. That's the we biggest need thing. To get the wings, get the wings going. I've laid down my tecitos, and so now I'm going to lay down some cheese. If you grab a nacho and more than one come with it, they're all yours. And every time you grab a nacho and there's more than one that comes with it, you got to state that it is the rule of the nacho. Something that my dad instilled at a very young age. We're going to throw this in for about 20 minutes, and we're cooking them at about 350, so we'll let that warm up. What's the ketchup for? Ah, tater tots. Good, good call. Got the chicken wings. Are you even going to put sauce on them? You sauce them up after. I, is that not how you do chicken wings? call out, man. Before you put them in? Maybe both. There's two packs in there. But then the sauce gets all crispy. Yeah. That's a good part. Are you a crispy wing guy? Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Yeah, my mom was a chef. I know how to do that. So, Duncan, with Super Bowl coming up, obviously we know who's playing in it now. Who do you have? Niners Who do I have Chiefs? and who I, who, who I think? who do you want to win? The Niners. Okay. And Which is weird because, like, four years ago, everyone wanted the Chiefs to win because they were yeah. playing against the Pats. Yep. And everyone was like, Patriots too good. Everyone wanted the Chiefs to win. Now the Chiefs are in that position where they're too good. They win every year or make it every year. We want the People Niners to, to win. Downfall. Also, all the Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, long gone. Get out of here. Let's see a loss here. Like, I'm done with that. You know what? Actually, NFL's rigged. Just kidding. It's not. But I, I would bet you that we're seeing a lot of shit because of the Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. Yep. 100%. Now, who do you think is going to win? Uh, man, when the Chiefs get rolling, like, nobody, nobody can front that they're solid if not the best. Statistically proven to be one of the most powerful postseason teams. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, Mahomes has been in the league for, what, six, seven years now? He's been in the AFC Championship five years. Uh, yeah. Like, he knows he how to really... win. He also knows how to lose, which is nice. He's, like, late 20s, and he's, you know, the kid's good. You can't get mad at that. You can't, even though you don't like him, you have to respect how, how talented that is to do something like that. So... Yeah, that's step one. I think I think the Niners win. I hope the Niners win. But I guess we'll see and watch how it goes. Underdogs yeah. for sure. Yeah, I would say I want the Niners to win. Um, not that I hate KC, but I think this, uh, the whole Brock Purdy situation, I think that he's really proven to himself and to everybody in the league that they're uh, incredibly good and they're, they've been underrated for a long time. Mr. Irrelevant is now Mr. Relevant. Um, now that we've got this guest guy here, Jonesy, what do you think? So, two just, questions. What do we got cooking here? We got some got a little plate of nachos. We yeah, nachos, so we got, we got tots. nachos, yeah, tater yeah. tots, and we got chicken wings oh, going on. Medallion tater tots, not yeah. spheres, eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, two questions for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Chiefs. And who do you want to win the Super Chiefs. Bowl? Chiefs. Okay. Really? Easy, yeah. easy. Chiefs. And why? Guy. 
I hate the 49ers, so even if I had to try and be honest, I would not pick the 49ers. Do you hate the 49ers because they're in San Fran right next to L.A.? I hate, yes, I hate them. I hate okay. the colors. I hate so the it's colors. a rivalry it's thing. It's Rams not fan. that you hate them as a, Rams fan. As a team. So we're going to throw the uh, nachos in. It's a pretty simple process. You just throw the nachos in, and now the nachos are thrown in. So, all right, Russell, say hi to the camera. Oh. Hi, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some tater tots going on here. We've got uh, nachos in there, and then we've got some chicken wings nachos, as well. Very low-level nachos, I will say. Yeah, and the nice thing too, I, I didn't mention this, but we can stand here no problem. You can do this with a normal iPhone 50, but you have emissions. We're sitting here; we don't have to breathe in any of that uh, emission, which is nice. Uh, when Ford designed this truck, they designed it with the people that are traveling every day in mind. 95% of people can get away with it. With uh, this truck specifically, um, obviously optimum range, 535 kilometers of battery. Uh, so for most people, you're driving to Kingston and back, Oshawa and back, Toronto and back. You might stop for about half an hour on your way back, but you're going to make sure that you're going to be able to get to and from where you need to go. Um, and so, yeah, another thing too, just on the range aspect, obviously we have a lot of this stuff plugged in. Um, I've set it up in the truck so that it will stop if it gets to 50 kilometers of range so we can make it to the nearest charger. We have one just around the corner, so there's no big deal there. But if you're using this when you're camping, if you're using this at a, a tailgate at a game or something like that, you can make sure that you set it for 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers to ensure that you can always make it back home, which is a nice feature. Obviously, you can see we have quite a bit of stuff here. We have an air fryer, we have a toaster oven, and we have this hot plate going on. Um, it's plugged into the ProPower onboard, and honestly, we're barely using any power. We've got more than enough. If we needed to, we could plug more stuff in. Uh, we just don't have enough real estate here today to be able to do it, but this truck can handle all of this no problem, and again, it's going to have tons of battery to keep going. If we wanted to do this all day, we'd be able to. You know what's crazy? We actually went up in range. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I had less... Sorry. I had less than 300 kilometers of range, and now we're at, like, 306 that it's plugged in with everything going. Those are pretty much good, yeah. That boys. Yeah, Don't burn me, brother. Yeah. For the record, we, this is bro. What are these Mike Wazowski gloves I'm wearing, bro? <laughs> For the record, I don't just make nachos with with tortillas and chips and cheese. We uh, we're, we're on a budget. We're on a budget. <laughs> we're lacking a little bit in that in the funds department. Okay, so ideal. What would you have added? I think you could do... Jalapenos for sure. Jalapenos for sure. Onions. You, yeah, onions, peppers. Sometimes you sprinkle a little bit of bacon on there. Ooh. Um, yeah, there's a couple of different ways you go. Definitely like like just chip and cheese. Not it. Just for the record, not it. I'll eat them, but you got to add more for sure. We just... I didn't want to be out here with a cutting board chopping all this stuff up. Having to blow away in the wind. Like, you know? Oh, f*** this. is going to be hot. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Yeah. But yeah, using this is a, a very feasible way. If you go camping, you don't have to bring the propane. You don't have to bring the big stove. You've got everything here. You've got a nice workbench. You don't have to bring your table, your picnic set, anything like that. If you want, you get a couple chairs. You can sit down here and use this as a table. Um, I think the opportunities to use this is endless. I know that sounds really cliche, but honestly, like the amount of stuff that we're doing here, you could do so much more. This is just the easy, quick, and simple way of us showcasing how you can make nachos, how you can make everything go on. So tater tots are looking pretty good. They're getting a little crispy. Wings uh, are getting there. Wings are getting yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I put them in for 38 instead of 35 because we can't get to 425, but I that's think right. that'll cook them thoroughly enough. That's, right. that's a, that's, you know who that, who would eat that? Cam Jamie. Sills. Cam oh. Sills, nachos, cheese. That's it. Ham, cheese, mustard, mayonnaise guy. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a Cam Sills nacho right there. So when you go to a Super Bowl party yeah. or if you host or whatever, what is your, give me like a top three or a list of your favorite Super Bowl snacks that you love to eat. Like, when you go there, you see that pop down on the table, just eyes light up. Number one, for sure, and I think this is just in general, I love uh, jalapeno poppers. Close second, I would say Doritos. Another one that's been a big favorite of mine, thanks to Noelle and Pat, is just a buffalo chicken dip. Amazing, amazing uh, meal. What about you, Duncan? Top three, or like, what's your top one? What's your favorite? What's your go-to? Top three. Number one, like, you can't go wrong, nachos. Yeah. That's, that's a number one for everyone. Dial them up. Give me some serious nachos. Jalapeno poppers is a good one. Slept on. I don't think I see those too often, but that's Rule the nacho. Put that back. I don't know. I, I've been chips and queso. Queso's kind of grown on me a lot mm. lately as well, too. Kind of got to have an assortment. You can't just go with, like, just nachos. I think there's got to be a whole maybe six or seven different plates of stuff. Poppers, solid. I'll put that number two. Matzo sticks are good. You can put those in the same category. I would say either, like, a pulled pork, like smoked pulled pork, or 
like a nice queso dip or something like that. I think is is a solid solid go-to. I'd be pretty content if that was my Super Bowl snack. That's a big thing that a lot of people do here that I didn't really see before, like smokers, smoked meat, a lot of that stuff. You don't see that on the West Coast. Here you see it a lot more.